Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in our discrete mathematics that is principle of inclusion and exclusion. And also we will see a few examples on this inclusion and exclusion problems. So without delay, we'll start the session. Inclusion and exclusion. So before going to the problems, uh, we'll see a two formulas and with the help of two formulas, we are supposed to uh, solve any kind of problems in this particular inclusion or exclusion. Yes, the first one. So before going to the formula, so let us remember one thing, the inclusion means or operation, which is a union operation. Similarly, exclusion means and operation which is represented with the intersection so this is the union and this is the intersection so in our previous sessions we have discussed about the sets right for example i'm i'm writing an example so for example set yes is having some one two three four example right so let it be 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. So in order to avoid the confusion. So 10, 20, 40, 30, 40 are the four elements that are represented in a set. So if you are writing yes, that means it is a set. If you are writing mod s, then it is called as a cardinality. That we have discussed in our set concept, right? Now the mod s value will be how much? Four. That means length of the set. Length of the set. Okay. So the length of the set will be usually represented with mod operator. So mod yes. Now this particular inclusion exclusion problems we are solving with the with respect to this cardinality only. So in our formulas we are using mod mod yes. Right? Simple example. So if you are using some A is equal to 10, 20 and B is equal to 30 and 40, then we know union operation, inclusion means union operation, which will be represented as A union B. What is the result of A union B? So that will be 10, 20, 30 and 40. So this is, this is the operation. But here, in the inclusion and exclusion, we are using mod A union B. That means the cardinality of A union B, not the elements of A, A, A union B. So we are just going with the cardinality. So what the cardinality means is a 4. So this inclusion and exclusion problems will be solved with the, with the, help, with the help of these cardinalities. Right? So with respect to these cardinalities, we will see the formulas. What uh, uh, and by using those formulas, we can solve any kind of inclusion and exclusion problems. So the first formula, mod A union B. So mod means that is a cardinality, right? So that will be calculated as mod A plus mod B minus mod A intersection B. Okay, A union B will be in this one, right? Similarly. If you are having the three sets A union, B union, C, then the result will be cardinality of A, cardinality of B, cardinality of C minus cardinality of A intersection B minus cardinality of B intersection C minus cardinality of A intersection C plus cardinality of A intersection B intersection C. So this, these two are the formulas we are supposed to remember. So if you are good at these two formulas, we can easily solve any kind of these problems. Okay. So just remember, we are only calculating the cardinalities. We are not dealing with the elements of the set. The number of elements of the set will be 10. Yes. Now, so hope you understood. From this formula, you can find out A intersection, B intersection, C. You can find out 
from this formula if you, you can find out a intersection b so like that anything you can find out okay yes so now without delay so just remember these formulas without delay we'll go with the one example simple example so let us solve this example so here the question is we need to find the number of integers from 1 to 100 okay which are multiples of 2 or 3 okay so here you can observe we need to find the multiples of 2 or 3 that is inclusion okay now we need to find number of integers that are multiple of 2 similarly number of integers that are multiple of 3 number of integers that are multiple of 2 and 3 okay next we need to find number of integers that are multiple of 2 or 3 so let it be let us take it as a it has b and the third one is multiple of 2 and 3 so 2 and 3 means a intersection b and here 2 or 3 a union b so what we have to find out this one we have to find out okay so we know that a union b formula which is a plus b minus a intersection b so these are see these are the elements okay the number of elements okay the number of elements we are not focusing on what are the elements we are focusing on number of elements number of elements so that's the reason why we are taking the cardinalities now multiple of two so one thing just remember anything if you want to get a multiple of something so simply use a division operation see for example let us reduce the uh, total number of uh, i mean the range uh, so that we can understand for example we need to find um, multiple of twos in 1 to 10 and reducing the total size okay so you uh, for just understanding i'll write the numbers yes so what are the, now you can see what are the multiples of 2 so this one this one 6 8 10 how much 1 2 3 4 5 so this can be written as 10 divided by 2 next multiples of threes in 1 to 10 you can observe threes multiple of threes means this one this one and this one so you can consider this as 10 by 3 that is also integers only the integers okay you can apply the floor division so that you can get the integer value okay integer value so 10 by 3 is nothing but 3 okay floor division it is a 3 so 3 means here 1 2 3 so we got a complete result now if we are if we want to find out so here you can write it as 10 divided by 2 total 5 elements 10 divided by 3 total 3 elements and you can see number of integers that are multiple of 2 and 3 that can be written as 10 divided by 2 into 3 which is 10 by 6 which becomes 1 so you in this we can observe see in this we can observe what is the element which is divisible by 6 means only one element it's a multiple of 6 okay multiple of 6 is only one element so that we are getting only one element here now 
you can apply the formula so a union b is equal to what is a a five elements what is a b so here we are taking sorry here we are taking only 10 so now we have to take it as 100 because we need to find the number of integers in 100 so 100 by 2 it is 50 10 by sorry 100 by 3 it is uh, how much 33 yes yeah here also 100 by 6 100 by 6 100 by 6 which becomes 1 and 16 okay 16 now so here it will be 6440 yes yes 16 so now we can consider here this formula cardinality of a that means multiples of 2 50 plus multiples of b 33 minus multiples of both 2 and 3 16 which becomes 83 minus 16 which becomes 67 so a union b is 67 that implies there are 67 integers okay 67 integers which are multiples of either 2 or 3 so here or means union right so 67 is a result hope you understood a simple example for inclusion and exclusion right so let us solve one more example so that you can get a more clarity so let us take one more example so a large software company employs some hundred programmers among that so 45 are proficient and good in java programming and 30 are good in c programming i mean c sharp and 20 are good in python and six good in both c sharp and python and one is proficient in java and python five are proficiency in uh, c sharp and python and one good in all the three languages now the questions here we are having a two questions the first question we need to find the number of programmers those who are good in any one of these three languages any one of these three languages that means or so a person a programmer who knows either java or c sharp or python any one of these three languages so this is a union okay the complete union now the second question not good in any one of the three languages that means the complement of the above answer will be the final result okay now let us solve this see let us take so here we need not find any formulas directly we got the thing directly we can apply the formula for example consider this one as j is equal to 45 because directly we got the information that 45 are good in java and this one take the cardinal cardinality as c <coughs> excuse me so 30 next p it's a 20 what about this one good in c and python so c intersection p so which is 6 j intersection p java and python 1 next c intersection no i think this is c sharp and java c and j which is 5 and this one good in all the three languages which are, which are nothing but j intersection c intersection p is equal to 1 so we know this formula okay we know the formula what is the formula here so the formula i am writing here formula a union b union c is equal to cardinality of a plus cardinality of b plus cardinality of c minus cardinality of a intersection b 
minus cardinality of b intersection c minus cardinality of uh, a intersection c plus intersection a intersection b intersection c so this is the formula now what we have to do j directly applying these things okay here a is j b is c and uh, uh, c is p so directly you can apply so this is nothing but good in all the three languages which may which means so j union c union p which is equal to mod a that means of 45 we can write it as 45 plus 30 plus 20 plus j intersection c see this one 5 so either j intersection c or c intersection j both will be getting the same result so we can consider this one next c intersection p c intersection p so here it is a minus not a plus minus minus 6 minus 1 plus proficiency in all the three which is 1 now if you solve this one we'll be getting the number of programmers who are good in any one of the three so you can add it so you can simply cross 45 plus 30 75 75 plus 20 95 95 minus 5 is 90 90 minus 6 it is 84 so among 30 programmers 84 programmers are good in either three languages okay either c or java or python i mean c sharp or java or python now here what what is the thing we need to find the second one which is not good in all the three languages that becomes so j union c union p not good that means a complement so we need to get a union b union c complement that becomes the universal set minus a union b union c so the universal set here the universal set will be how much 100 because total we are having the company is having total 100 programmers from that 100 programmers what we have to minus the programmers which are efficient or proficient in either one of the language like either c sharp or java or python so we got the answer is of 84 so it is 84 so total we'll be getting 16 so 16 programmers are not good in any one of the three languages c sharp java and python so in this way we have to solve the uh, inclusion and the exclusion problems and only two formulas we need to remember those two formulas so that you can solve any kind of problems right so hope you understood and if you are having any queries regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much